Well, Ayersville started strong and stayed strong in their opening round of the sectionals last week as they won in straight sets. Now the question is, can they do it as they draw the prize? The number four seeded pilots will be taking on the number one seed Pennisville Blackbirds, 21 and three on the season. But as any coach will tell you at this point in time of the year, you don't play the game on paper. Everybody is O and O when you start the postseason. Both these teams are one and O. Somebody will be two and O at the end of this one in about two hours and be making plans to play on Wednesday night. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Thunderdome, Archbold High School Gymnasium. The Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show is on the air. DC TV Sports welcome you. Brent Babel not alongside Scoop Miller. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, located on North Clinton Street in Defiance, earning your trust one satisfied customer on at a time. Check out their great selection of new and used vehicles on the lot in person or online at drivebobestel.com. We're going to hear from head coach Taven Tyler in just a minute. Our player profile tonight will be six-foot senior outside hitter slash middle blocker Addison Zartman. But before we get to that, Scoop, situation here where I don't want to say David versus Goliath because Ayersville is not unfamiliar with Pettisville. They did play earlier this year in an out-of-conference matchup, and the uh, Blackbirds won three sets to one. So it's not a situation where, number one, they know they can't beat them. Matter of fact, they took a set from them. But second time around, is it more physical or more mental? with your team? I think there's no question it's more mental at this stage of the game so that's going to be a big hurdle I, I think uh, for both these teams the fact that Ayersville lost so many key contributors from that team that made it all the way to the regionals a year ago and uh, also remember this is the fourth straight trip here for Ayersville but Pettisville being that number one seed they already have a victory under their belt in comfort behind fashion uh, at the hangar back on September 9th but the, the thing that kind of Makes me leery, Brent, the fact that you look at what these teams have done in October. Pettisville, a perfect 6-0 and yeah. in the month of October. <laughs> Ayersville, 2-4. and four. Now, as you mentioned, right now they're both undefeated in tournament play. That's the only thing that matters. But can you get over that mental hurdle where you've had some struggles here down the stretch? We're going to break it down. One team is an excellent serving team. Excellent might even be an understatement. Pettisville, as I was looking down their starters, it's one player after another. 93%, 94%, 96%, 97%. Aces, you're looking at 30, 40, 50, 55. They are just an absolute, uh, basically, howitzer. On the flip side, one of the strengths for Ayersville has been serve, receive, and first touch. We'll wait and see how much both teams are able to play in system. But rest assured, especially if you're Ayersville tonight, Scoop, uh, we were talking with Coach Taven Tyler before we headed up to our perch here. She simply said, we cannot afford to fall behind. If we do, it's going to be a very quick night. Well, you're right. That's that mental hurdle I think they have to come over. So especially a Pennsville team, that's, when Pennsville's won the first set this year, they're a perfect 19-0. So I think both coaches understand the importance of coming out, playing your best volleyball right away, and trying to get some momentum early. We're going to continue our Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show in just a moment. Up next, it will be Ayersville head coach Taven Tyler. We'll break down last weekend's win over North Central and, more importantly, preview tonight's matchup against top-seeded Pettisville. Our player profile, senior Addison Zartman. Don't you go anywhere. We're back with more of the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show on DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com.
Welcome back. The Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues, being joined right now by Coach Tyler, which must mean that the pilots have advanced, right, as they took care of business against North Central last week in three sets and now have earned the right to take on the top seed, Pettisville, for an opportunity to continue to wear the uniform. Coach, we appreciate you joining us. First things first, congratulations. What impressed you the most about your team in that North Central performance? Thank you. Um, I would say definitely my team, uh, the team, teamwork. I think they worked very well together. They were able to continue to play and communicate with each other very well tonight, and that teamwork really helped them be successful. Going to have to raise the level of play another notch, maybe a couple against the top seed Pettisville. We'll break them down in just a second. But before we do that, let's recap a little bit. You had a little bit of extra time from the season finale to the opening round of the playoffs, then three days to get ready for Pettisville. What was the center of attention in practice getting ready for the Blackbirds? Definitely the main Thing has been gameplay. Just any time we can, we're going to work on some of the skills, that stuff, but overall, gameplay. And just tweak all those little miscommunications, everything, while we are playing in different games, different drills. All right, you brought up miscommunication. It was uncharacteristic, but there was probably three or four, maybe even as many as a half a dozen situations where two or three players were on a ball mm -hmm. and then they collided. Now, luckily, nobody got hurt and you won most of those points. But what's the key there? We haven't seen that a lot. Was it just the spur of the moment, the intensity, and how do you address that? I feel like the miscommunications came from the nerves and just being ready to play. They were eager, they were eager to get after it. And I feel like the nerves kind of played a role in that. So hopefully after the practices that all of that's cleared up. So let's break down Pettisville. You saw them, much like Ayersville, very strong in the middle. How do you attack them? They are definitely a powerful team. They're strong, they will swing a lot, and their defense is scrappy. But I think if we stay on our game and continue to play how I know we can, I know we can put up a really good fight and hopefully be successful with it. Do you want quick points, quick termination, or as an extended point against a team like this, does that maybe give you a benefit? They got pushed, they did drop a set to Stryker, who was the 8 seed. I feel like those quick points are always good here or there, but ultimately if we have the drive and we can continue to compete and win rallies, that shifts the momentum in any volleyball game so much. As we saw in the other game, that that momentum can shift just like that and definitely by having those longer rallies, that helps it shift. All right, so here's to building some momentum. Coach, congratulations on an opening round win. They've got number one seeded Pettisville tonight. Best of luck to you. Thank you. That is Coach Tyler. We're going to take a quick timeout. We're back with more of the Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show right after this. You're watching DCTV Sports. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestill.com. Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948.
proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, 419-782-5080, online at baker-schindler.com. Welcome back to the Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show continues. Brent Balbinot saying thank you for joining us. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac located on North Clinton Street in Defiance. Check them, check them out on their lot in person or online at drivebobestel.com. Time for our player profile. We've got a senior here in front of us. I asked her earlier this year because Ayersville for some reason didn't put the heights of their players <laughs> on the roster. So I literally had to go down in the middle of the huddle during a JV game and start asking everybody, how tall are you? Addison Zartman told me six foot. So is that accurate, ma'am? Yes, it is. Okay, <laughs> very good. Senior, multi-sport athlete. You've heard her name. You've seen her face. She plays basketball. She plays softball. But right now, in the middle of volleyball season. So I'm going to ask you the same question that I've asked much of the upperclassmen here. Last season, Ayersville had a couple of college-level players, the two Taylors, on the roster. They're graduated. You'll love them forever, but they're not wearing a uniform anymore. What did the coaching staff tell you as a senior they wanted your role to be? Um, I think our role this year was to basically just not fill in for the Taylors, but to um, have a leadership for, fill in for what they had as their leadership and to lead the team to be successful this year. We knew that we weren't going to have the athleticism as much as they had last year. Taylor Craft had great athleticism last year and so did Taylor Wadron. And I think this year we knew that we were younger and with us being only having two seniors this year, we knew that we didn't have as much as we did last year, which for next year is great because they don't, they don't have as many shoes to fill. But I think Ryland and I knew that we just, we just needed to lead the team to success this year. All right, so how about you specifically? What were some of the things you were working on skill set wise to improve? Um, this year I really worked on my blocking and I stayed after practices to work on my blocking this year. And I think my hitting could, um, could use some improvement and has improved a lot this year too. Walk us through what makes for a good block because the middle is very strong for Ayersville this year. What's the key? Um, setting up, so looking at the other side and seeing where their arm is leading to the other side and if they're hitting crossers straight and looking at their hips too and setting up the middle to be able to close the block also. You trust your eyes a lot in the middle, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yep. So now this is one thing that I asked uh, Miss Michael and she said she'll watch the setter. But I also have talked to a lot of other middles that are very good. Can the outside, can the hitters maybe give a tip? Who are, are you watching more than one person is what I'm getting at. Yeah, um, you watch the setter to see where they're obviously placing the set. And if they're setting it to the right side, to the middle, to the outside. And then um, the hitters, you're also watching to see if their hands are, if they're hitting or if their hands are curved for a tip also. So yeah, you are watching multiple people. <laughs> the term is student athlete. You have to crack a book, you have to stay eligible to stay in the uniform. She's a member of the National Honor Society. Care to give us your GPA? Um, I have a 4.0 GPA. Just a 4.0. But with that said, you said you aren't the valedictorian this year? Nope, I'm not. Nope. I won't ask how that works, but 4.0 is pretty darn good. You can't get better than that. Time management has to be important to you. I mean, from obviously your studies to practice, I'm sure a little bit of a social life. Wake us up in the morning with Addison Zartman. What's a typical day for you? So in the morning, actually, I don't even go to school until 11 o'clock. So really? Yeah. So I take CCP classes. Okay. So I don't go to school until about midday. So in the morning, I get up and do CCP work and any work that I haven't done the night before. And then I go into school and do um, Algebra 2. And then I take CCP comp and then I go to practices okay. and games. It sounds like a pretty full day. Uh, walk us through plans for after graduation. I mean, next spring is gonna roll around, gonna be styling in the cap and gown. What's the future gonna hold for you? 
Um, currently, I haven't really decided what I'm, where I'm going for college, and I was g going to go into education, but I've kind of decided that I'm not positive on what major I'm going into yet. Okay. Well, we don't have to graduate you just yet. you still got plenty of senior year left to go. But let me ask you this. If I came back and did an interview with you in 10 or 15 years, and I asked somebody about your legacy, how do you want people to talk about you? Um, I would say that I just would hope that people remember me for my personality and not necessarily the wins and losses and everything that I left for athleticism wise because I there has been some greats at Ayersville and I know like Ali Schindler and they she will be remembered for yes her athleticism but also how humble she was and I think I'd rather be remembered for how humble and my personality and how I treat others too. Good luck to you have represented not just volleyball, but the entire school with great distinction. Good luck to you, not just for the rest of volleyball season, but the rest of your senior year. Thank you. Addison Zartman, our player profile. We're going to take a quick time out. We're back with more of the Estelle Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. You're watching DCTV Sports. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. And we welcome you back to the Thunderdome Archbold High School Gymnasium. Brent Palpinot alongside Scoop Miller as the Estelle Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show winding down. We're just under four minutes before we throw up first serve here. Both these two teams looking to advance to Wednesday night. Sectionals will be wrapping up. We'll get ready for districts. But right now, first things first, who will earn the right to wear the uniform at least one more time? Top-seeded Pettisville, fourth-seeded Ayersville. Time now for your keys to the game, brought to you by Northwest State Community College. Your key to great career opportunities begins with a great education at Northwest State. Visit northweststate.edu or give them a call at 419-267-1320 today. Scoop, where are you starting tonight? Well, we'll start with the Pettisville Blackbirds who come in with that impressive 21-3 record coming to this district semi. And I think for Pettisville, it's going to start with passing. Back row play will be crucial for Pettisville tonight. This is an area that's been a huge strength of the Blackbirds all season long. And they will need that tonight if they want to continue on the tournament trail. I think a second key tonight for the Blackbirds is going to be aggressive serving. This played a big part of Pettisville's uh, impressive four-set win against Ayersville earlier this season where the Blackbirds were able to serve up ten aces. And they're going to need that strong serving again tonight to keep this Ayersville team out of system. I think the third key tonight for Pettisville is going to be attack blocking. I think it'll be crucial for the Blackbirds uh, to have a solid attack uh, as far as blocking at the net. Their scheme's going to have to be solid and the, as the Pilots uh, have the ability and potential to really dominate teams at the net. So I think this is going to be a key factor for the Blackbirds tonight and if they can get it done in these areas, they will indeed advance to Wednesday's championship clash right here at the Thunderdome against the second game winner, 6 o'clock on Wednesday right, night. That is Pettisville. And then for Ayersville, it's going to start with getting in system. I don't think it's any secret for the Pilots. This is a dangerous Ayersville team. When they are in system and have all options available, boy, it's an awfully tough team to defend with so many weapons that they have in that front row. I think the second key tonight uh, for Ayersville is going to be serve-receive. Critical point and getting in system is controlling that back roll, that first contact. I think that's going to be paramount tonight. The Pilots will need to control that back roll, get the ball to the middles cleanly, where they can kind of get in that strike zone. When they do, again, we talked about this is the tough Ayersville team to match up against. I think the third key tonight uh, is going to be minimize unforced errors. This has plagued the Pilots throughout the season. and has kept the Pilots from being at the top of the GMC standing. So if the Pilots can execute these series tonight, they can avenge a four-set loss to the Blackbirds back on September 9th and move to the second consecutive year to the district championship on Wednesday. Those are your keys to the game brought to you by Northwest State Community College. Your key to great career opportunities begins with a great education at Northwest State. Visit northweststate.edu or call 419-267-1320 today. Time now for our starting lineups brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. 
proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, baker-schindler.com. Let's go ahead and put them up, taking a look at tonight's starting lineups first for the Ayersville Pilots. Pilots entering tonight's contest at 10 and 13 overall, 3 and 4 in conference play. That was good for fourth place in the GMC. Allison Eldridge, the setter, 620 assists on the season. She's serving at 93% with 38 aces. In the middle, 5'8 senior Rylan Beecher, 113 kills. She's serving at 98%. Grace Flory is your outside hitter, the 5'10 junior, 248 kills. Kendra Waldron will be on the other side, the 5'6 junior, 100 kills, 327 digs. Laney Sheets will also be on the other side. Your oppo, again, the 5'7 junior with 55 kills, 262 digs. And Michaela Laker-Sierra is just playing a windmill in a tornado. The 5'6 junior covers a ton of court to the tune of 496 digs. We will have a look at the starting lineups for Pettisville in just one second, but it's time now for our national anthem. Brought to you by the Defiance County Veterans Office. Proud to support local veterans and their families. Give them a call to find out what services are available to you at 419-782-6861. National Anthem in the books. Our thanks going out to the Defiance County Veterans Office. Give them a call to find out what services and programs are available to you. 419-782-6861. Proud to support veterans and their families by connecting them to support programs and benefits from the VA and Department of Defense. Let's finish out our starting lineups. Again, brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. Let's take a look. At the top seeded Pettisville Blackbirds, 20 and 3 on the season, led by head coach April Beck in her third season at the helm. Grace Hastings is a little bit of everything. Again, very small in stature, but she is a keg of dynamite. The 5'3 junior setter, just under 800 assists at 797. She also has 35 kills and is serving at 96% with 50 aces. Olivia Miller is an incredibly physical middle blocker. She is a captain. Miller, a 5'8 senior with 187 kills, 44 blocks, serving at 96%. Naomi Reeker is an outside hitter, a 5'7 junior, 258 kills, 95% serving, and 30 aces. Miley Harris, outside hitter, standing in at 5'7 and a senior, 321 kills. She's serving at just 92%, but has 52 aces. Macy Hoyleman, again on the opposite side, she is a 5'7 junior, 60 kills, 74 digs, but serving at 95%. And your libero is Becca Strauss, a 5'4 junior, 245 digs. She does not serve. That is not one of her rotations. Those are your starting lineups brought to you by Baker Schindler Company. Scoop, if you were paying any attention, one statistic stood out as I was reading through Pennisville starters. Incredibly efficient, not just efficient, effective servers they are one of the best not just in this area but in the entire state well you're right and it's not just serving percentage sometimes that's a misleading stat they're not just serving to get an end they're serving it aggressive and deep and they're getting a ton of aces on it throughout the season in fact the blackbirds 242 aces coming into this district semifinal. and boy that's been a that's big incredible weapon. been a big weapon all year 
And a big part of those 20 plus wins here for Pettisville. As starters, both non, I should say non-starters and starters being introduced for both rosters. Look, this is, I don't want to call it a Hoosiers style matchup here tonight, Scoop, but obviously you've got a heavy, heavy favorite, the top seed in Pettisville versus the fourth seed in Ayersville, a good team, but a team that has really struggled, especially in tight matches this season. As a matter of fact, 0-5 in five-set matches. They lost in four to Pettisville earlier this season. I know in talking with Coach uh, Taven Tyler, and I want to get your take on it, she's basically telling her team, there's no reason you should be walking onto the court tight or overanalyzing, not to use the worn-out cliche, playing with house money, but you've got nothing to lose tonight if you're Ayersville. I totally agree. They've got six underclassmen, six all-juniors in the starting lineup, so a lot of times you get seniors out there, they start thinking, boy, this could be my last game if I don't play well, and it gets in your head. Right now, go out there and play with house money. Go out there, you've got nothing to lose. Free and easy. And it's going to be tough, I think, to beat a good team twice. I think that's the mental take you've got to have if you're the Ayersville Pilots coming in. There you take a look at Pettisville, the Blackbirds in their white jersey tops with the black lettering and numeral with the gold trim, the black shorts. On the other side of the court, there you see Ayersville in their traveling two-toned blue jersey tops with the black shorts and the gold lettering and numerals. One last time to go through the handshake line, and then it's time for first serve. And on paper, I think you're right. You look at the matchup, serving percentage, Pettisville much higher. Aces, Pettisville much higher. Ace percentage, Pettisville much higher. Aces per set, Pettisville much higher. Kills, Pettisville much higher. Kill per set, Pettisville. <laughs> kill percentage, Pettisville. The one area that Ayersville has a slight margin in, 1.6 blocks per set to Pettisville's 1.4. But take what you can, make the most of it. Bottom line is, you have to play well to advance at this level. We've got four great teams in this district tournament. Both teams have exceptionally strong middles. It will be interesting to see if both coaches work the middle, just to keep each other honest, or if we see more pin-to-pin, -pin, or more specifically in Ayersville's case, pin or pin offensively tonight, because Miller is as physical as they come in the middle at 5'8", but then Brooklyn Michael and Rylan Beecher are very strong as well for Ayersville, as Allison Eldridge getting set to put a fist into it. Waiting for the whistle to sound. Our officiating crew tonight, Amy Ellerbach, Terry Holman, James Grimm, and Harry Smith. And just a low, it's gonna be an ace. They backed up. I don't know how much farther back you can go in serve receive if you're Pettisville. Everybody, including us up here, thought that was going to sell just long. And instead, it is a Premier Bank ace for Allison Eldridge to start the match. We'll shake it. What a way to start. Here's a chip. Give her two. Wow. Talk about mixing it up, Scoop. No kidding. You went with the, uh, the heater, 100-plus by an hour fastball, and then you throw the nasty split change. Quick two will start. <laughs> Couple baseball analogies. Another nice piece of zone serving. Good job, though, that time by Strauss to come out on it. And quick termination. And that is what Coach April Beck told me she wants with her squad tonight. First touch, stay in system, make the points as quick as possible. Yeah, great termination that time by Reeker to end that 2-0 start by the Pilots. Waiting for the official's whistle. Terry Holman is the tower official here this evening. And I'm not sure what the instruction was there, but apparently everything's okay now. We had a camera guy a little bit too close to the action. He wanted okay. him to step back. In system. Beecher, nice job by Ryland Beecher on the dink. She got the block to Deke. And instead of unloading, she just tapped it over and found no man's land. Oh, tremendous job by Beecher. Just had a perfect uh, dump shot there right into no man's land, as you mentioned, Brent. Well, that's a great start here for Ayersville. You Very. Those quick side outs. You just saw Pettisville's perhaps their best server. They're able to get a quick side out and now try to make some hay here as you got to serve back in your possession. Addison Zartman will check in for Laney Sheet, so a bit more strength in the middle as Beecher puts a fist into it. Good first touch. They'll set to the near pin. Dinked over, but Beecher's there. That's going to be a deep dump. 
Put up by Harris. Little pinball, and this is going to be a freebie. We'll see if the Blackboards can get something in system. They'll set far pin. Wow. Naomi Reeker unloaded, but we play on. Strauss covers a ton of ground. Second touch, though, and Ayersville will get a free ball. Eldridge sets near pin. Flory unloads, but there's Miller in the middle for Pettisville. And now the Blackbirds with a free ball. Quick set. Miller on the dump. Wow, we were expecting power out of both middles, and we're seeing finesse from both middles to start this match. Oh, what a touch there by Olivia Miller, the 5'8 senior. Paints that sideline to get the Blackbirds within one. Rieker goes right into Sierra. They'll set, far pin. Harris with the hammer. She'll get a second opportunity here. Nice layout by Eldridge, but your setter's out of the play now. Miller. Eldridge on the dump. Miller unloads just a bit long. The question was, was it not touched? It was not. Not off the block. And how about Ayersville here? Man, it feels like we pay, played half of this set already, and it's only 4-2. to two. Well, I think both teams were locked in early. That's been a good sign because we talked about how this could really come down to being a mental game, but right now both teams mentally locked in. Ayersville trying to get some separation early. Flory goes cross court. They'll set far pin and unloading Miley Harris. 321 kills coming into tonight. She's already got a couple early under her belt. Yeah, that's a name you're going to hear a lot tonight is that time uh, Harris, the 5'7 senior. Boy, she brought the heat that time, gets the kill there off the block. And now Pezville with an opportunity to tie things up. Olivia Miller with a low line drive serve. Eldridge back set, Sheets, the lefty. Just a bit wide. They've got the advantage on the opposite side in that Sheets is a lefty scoop. It's more her natural position. Don't be surprised to see a lot more of that this evening for Ayersville. Well, you're right. And I think that's why we'll see a lot of pen to pen. And there's a good looking uh, quick set, well executed by the pilots. We'll see a lot more of number 10, Brooklyn Michael, as well. 159 kills, 64 blocks on the season. Sheets unloads, a little bit of a run, and this will come out of the back row. Ayersville should get a free ball here. Combination play, Waldron, missed time to jump. Yeah, that time looked like uh, ball was nearer strike zone, but looked like she took her eye off there, looking at an attack block to see what was happening. Well, we talked about how strong a serving the Pettisville squad is, and we're seeing it right there. Macy Hoyleman unloads at 95%. Good deep serve. Back setting Waldron with an odd angle, but she gets it over. Put down by Harris. One of the things that Coach Tyler was talking to me about, they set up large blocks and had three players stand on the right side in practice this week, Scoop. The point was, you've got to be able to cover. Understanding that the block is coming, you've got to know where you need to be and anticipation on the court. And right now, we've seen Pettisville take advantage of it on a couple of occasions. Yeah, no question. That, that's certainly big to prepare like that because that's going to be a big factor in tonight's contest. 7-5, make it now 7-6 on the side out. Kendra Waldron, 100 kills, 327 digs, 85% service this season. Out of the back row, Sierra covers so much court. Off the quick set, Michael couldn't get the termination. And Harris does. Well, right now, Hirschel's had no answer for Miley Harris, the senior. Who, wow, she's got such downward trajectory. She's got a great vertical leap. And that gets the Blackbird lead back up to two. I don't want to say you cheat as a service error off of is that Hastings? No, nope, that's Harris, excuse me. It's going to make it 8-7. Deep serve is long. Well, both teams serving very aggressively, so I think we're going to probably have a few service errors by the time this is all said and done. There's Boy, a tremendous that's a serve. bullet. And a free ball sent over by Ayersville. 
Hastings sets near pin Miller. Sheets was there. Quick set, Reeker. Strauss is there. Miller on the dump. They'll set near pin to Flory. Tries to push it. Nice job by Harris, but nobody else was there for Pettisville. Yeah, great point that time by the Pilots. Uh, credit Strauss here for Pettisville. She somehow made an incredible dig to extend that point, but the Blackbirds could not take advantage. And now Ayersville looking to tie here, trailing by one with the serve. Four back to receive here for Pettisville. On the dump, Hastings almost got away with it. Another free ball, no need to even play it. So a mini run here for Pettisville. Puts them back up by two. It's Grace Hastings. 96% on her serving this season. 50 aces. And that's a top. Give her one more. That is just top. That is an absolute laser across the tape. Well, it's just incredible to have that type of serving percentage combined with those many, that many aces. So again, she adds one to it right there. The biggest lead of this match at 11-8. Good first touch here. They'll set up Beecher. They'll set far side Reeker. At an odd angle, Flory will unload. Termination. Ah, good looking execution that time by the Pilots. As they're able to uh, really get the ball in the strike zone of Flory. And that ball click, quickly hits the deck for the termination. Now the Pilots creep back within two. Rylan Beach are back to serve. Boy, good zone serving. They'll set near pin. And I think they got the, the block to bite Naomi Reeker with a fantastic kill. Now right now, the defense for Pettisville has just been outstanding. They've done a nice job of really getting some clean first contacts, trying to get in system. Right now, they've matched their biggest lead at three. Reach it back to serve. It's going to be a little bit of a run for Eldridge, and Flory can't do much with it. Hastings sets far pin. Harris unloads, but again, Sierra's there. So is Strauss. Both teams' liberos really active in the early going. Ball tapped over by Harris. Flory trying to get her timing down. Hastings sets to the middle. Miller! That's just too tough. She is so strong, Scoop. Now you're seeing why this Pezville team ran the table in the BBC this year. So consistent. They've done a great job of minimizing mistakes. Been very good defensively. Flory, nice up by Reacher. She'll have to send over a free ball. Well, your setter's now taken out of the play. And what was a gift, who wants it? Can anybody get into system? No, but it doesn't matter because Miley Harris draws up a play in the dirt. Great adjustment there by Miley Harris, and uh, Ayersville wants to talk it over. Yep. Largest lead of the match in the early going. Pettisville enjoys it, 14-9. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout, serving the Defiance community since 1916, located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. We're back at Archbold right after this on DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Back at the Thunderdome, host of tonight's matchup. It is the normal regular season home of the Archbold Blue Streaks. A venue near and dear to the heart of the man sitting to my right, Brent Balvinot, alongside Scoop Miller as we welcome you back. Taking a look at district semifinal volleyball. Division seven, number four seed, Ayersville. Trailing top seeded Pettisville, 14 to nine. Ayersville calling a timeout, trying to maybe break up the rhythm of Naomi Reacher. She'll put a fist into it. She's an excellent server at 95%. That's a good first touch. Clark checking in for Ayersville, and we have a violation. I didn't see what it was. Yeah, that time, Pestle got caught fishing the net, I believe. I saw two up. She so got the touch right yep. here. 
So that's a break there for uh, Ayersville. Huge they have gift. not had many of those because uh, Pettisville has been near flawless here in the last dozen points or so. Flora with a beautiful serve. They'll go far pin. Nice up by Waldron. She'll get a hack at it. Nothing doing as Harris is there. And again, feathery touch. Man, you're seeing a team on the left side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Now the right that just is firing on all cylinders right now. They really are. You know, that time they saw the opening, dumped it into no man's land. You couldn't have dropped it any better spot. And now the lead back up to five here for the Blackbirds. Deep serve. Sierra's there. They'll set far pin, but it's a little off. Free ball sent over by Michael. And Waldron won the joust at the net, but it went out of bounds. And I'm watching Kendra Waldron right now. And I think number six just needs to take a deep breath. She is so competitive, Scoop, but I guarantee you that one got under her skin a little bit. And miscommunication there on the serve receive. Can they do something with it? Yes, they can. Pays to have a lefty on the opposite side. Laney Sheets with a huge termination. Well, credit to junior there, Laney Sheets. She kind of went for broke went right down the sideline, was able to get a piece of that sideline, a much needed point there by the Pilots. Fouled by an ace. So great job by Sheets once again. As the southpaw, boy, that serve kind of fell off a table. Yep. That is a premier bank ace. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features. Yourpremierbank.com. That one's going to sail on. A little too amped up. So 16-12. Ayersville got back to within three, but now down by four as Hoyleman back to serve. They'll set far pin. Waldron and loads, but the block was there, in particular Harris. And Ayersville out of system sends over a freebie. Hastings sets far pin. That time Ayersville's block is there, and Brooklyn Michael, who wants it? It's out of bounds. Well, that's some great volleyball right there. First of all, the block by Harris was just incredible. But then you saw Ayersville with the answer as well. As Michael had a tremendous block. Hoyleman goes long. And here comes Kendra Waldron. Steely-eyed. Deep serve. Well, that's a long way to run and an unorthodox ace. But a Premier Bank ace nonetheless. And Ayersville won't argue right now how they get him. One of the few times tonight that that first contact for uh, Pettisville was kind of in no man's land. That serve was back just a bit. Michael's there in the middle. They'll test her again. Both she and Beecher trying to go deep, but Sierra tracks it down. This will come out of the back row. Sheets. Nice up by Miller. The block oh. is there again by Brooklyn Michael. Welcome to the block party, says Brooklyn Michael. She has been everywhere these last three or four points. And Pettisville has not had an answer for her. And Ayersville creeps within three. Waldron trying to pull him to within two. Long run by Eldridge. Beecher can't do much with this. Hastings will reset Harris. Little pinball. Michael with the dink. Strauss seems to know where the ball's going before it even crosses the net. I know that won't go down on the highlight reel, but scoop number one for Pettisville made that point happen. Uh, you're right. Credit Becca Strauss uh, once again. She's kind of been the straw that's stirring the drink out there tonight. Well, that's just a bullet of a serve by Miley Harris. Hastings sets. Reacher delivers. My goodness, uh, how about Naomi Reeker that time with the termination, and Ayersville's going to burn her second timeout. We'll take another Mark Motes Ford timeout located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. First one to 20 is Pettisville. They lead 2015 first set. We're back after this on DCTV Sports. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Back at the Thunderdome in Archbold. 
Top seeded Pettisville 20, four seeded Ayersville 15. It's been a very aggressive and what started as somewhat of a finesse first set has turned into all power by both teams. Well, both teams are really bringing the heavy artillery. We're seeing some big time swings here. Been plenty of velo on both sides of the yes. net. And uh, that opening match back on September 9th at the hangar with these two teams was 22-25, 25-21, 25-21, 25-22. So not a lot of separation no. there. And we haven't had much here tonight either. Nice job to put that off of her shoe tops by Waldron. Running towards the net, Reeker, and wow, what placement. Talk about threading the needle. No kidding. You talk about dropping the dime. That ball was placed right on the edge of that sideline. And the largest lead, once again, of the first set belongs to the Blackbirds. Harris, bottom falls out of that serve. They'll set far pin and off the block. Yep, the line judge, in this case, Ann Ellerbach said it was off the tip. And That's that good will be to a side out. There for Ayersville. They're not backing down. They're still playing power volleyball. They're not trying to do too much finesse right now. Well, that was a huge point, Ooh. but the service mistake here. Wow, a rare one by Sierra. And a really inopportune time there, Scoop. Well, you're right. Just three points away uh, from securing this first set for the Blackbirds. Courtney Wimkin back to serve. A little bit of a slide play. Trying to cut the angle, but Beecher couldn't get it. Unloading, Reacher. And on the dump, Eldridge with a nifty heads-up play. Well, it was an intelligent play that time by Allison Eldridge. Uh, that ball kind of no man's land. She was in a tough spot, so made a nice mid-air adjustment, was able to uh, get that to drop off the block. Eldridge to serve. Sends over a bullet. Miller, timing was just a bit off. Sheets, the lefty, couldn't quite get what she wanted on that, and that was an easy block on the opposite side for Pettisville. And they're now inching closer to the first set. This aggressive uh, Pettisville team has made it difficult for Ayersville to get in system tonight. Hastings with a deep serve. Put down and finally finished off. That went under the net. Grace Floyd, they need to get her more involved. Yeah, you're right. You know, she was second team all Green Mills Conference this year and a girl they want to try to feed. At that time, she's able to get the impressive uh, kill there. But still trailing by five deep in this opening set. Ryland Beecher puts a fist into it. Hastings sets Miller. That's out of bounds, and it will be point. Ayersville. Now, yeah, great job by Beecher once again to trim another point off that deficit. Very short serve. Hastings makes a run. They'll set near pin and Reacher unloads. Uh, great job, but again, credit the passing that time by the Blackbird. They got in their strike zone. And now quintuple set point coming up here for Pettisville. Reacher, deep serve, and that's a service ace to wind down the first set. Both teams started finesse. Both teams finished with power. 25-19 as they will not switch ends of the floor here, but get set for set number two. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. We're back after this on DCTV Sports. Discover top quality healthcare education at Northwest State. Our instructors have real world experience, so they know how to prepare you for great career opportunities. 
Northwest State, where you'll get the top quality healthcare education you need to succeed. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. The Strady Center for the Arts, entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Welcome back to Ayersville High School Gymnasium, nicknamed the Thunderdome. Brent Balvinot alongside Scoop Miller as we have got playoff volleyball, Division 7 style. It is a sectional final between four-seeded Ayersville and top-seeded Pettisville. As the Blackbirds took set number one, 25-19, we get set for the start of set number two. And for a second, I thought Brooklyn Michael was going to start in this rotation, but instead I see Michaela Laker Sierra, the libero check in. And back to serve will be the setter, Grace Hastings for Pettisville. Awaiting the whistle. Good deep serve. Sheets with a decent first touch. They'll set Beecher on the dump, but again, Strauss is there at the net. Miller almost won the jousts, but will play on. This time, Reacher, Reeker, absolutely, with the termination, but it was wide. That ball clipped the tape and then carried just enough to sails wide. So, once again, Ayersville starts on top early. Hastings with a bit of a run, setting to the far pin, Hoyleman. Not in system, but it clipped the tape. Miller on the dump, and wow. Again, thinking about it, I was told still entertaining whether she wants to play college volleyball or not. If Olivia Miller <laughs> decides she wants to, she's going to make somebody a very good middle blocker. No question about it. And also is going to be a strong uh, threat serving the volleyball as well. Great up by Reeker in the back row. Harris, speaking of great ups, there's Sierra. Flory tries to place it. It's a long run collision in the back row. This should be a free ball for Ayersville. Eldridge, nice cut shot by Ryland Beecher. Tremendous job there by Beecher. Didn't try to do too much with it. Had the nice cut angle on it. And Pettisville uh, made a desperate attempt to try to extend that point. But Ayersville retakes the lead here at 2-1. Down one set to nothing. Up two to one early here in set number two. Beecher with a short serve. Great layout by Reeker. Ayersville gets another freebie. In system. Put away. Tremendous job. I believe, is that Kendall Boer? It is. Bringing in the underclassmen here. My goodness. Yeah, that was sweet. Uh, right in her strike zone, and Boer delivered. Setting far pin. Oh, that's a tough touch by Eldridge, and it also takes your setter out of the play. And the offense was just never really in sync on that one. Yeah, credit Pezzo. They've done a nice job of really keeping Ayersville out of sync. Uh, 
really trying to control first touches, who's getting where and when. Nice up. Ayersville finally in system. Well set. Oh, what a tremendous up by Reeker. Flory tries to go deep. Wow. Eldridge. Both teams just beating on each other. And did we have a carry there? Yeah, that was the right call. You know, that's, that's such a tough call to make. But uh, that time, uh, veteran official Terry Holman right on top of it gets it right. Pilots now have the Blackbirds doubled up 4-2. Setting far pin, the block was there. Zartman along with Michael. Pays to have strong middles. Well, how about Brooklyn Michael? The all, I will mention, GMC performer comes up big there with the nifty block. And now Ayersville has their largest lead of this match. Service ace! Fell right in no man's land. That's a premier bank service ace. And hustling back to try and do it again, Grace Flory. Great job by Flory, known for her uh, ability to dominate the net, but that time a tremendous serve. Oh, on the dump. Great layout by Beecher. They'll set far pin. Dumped over, and again, Miley Harris just showing tremendous touch. Yeah, there's a lot to like about that young lady. She does such a good job of using her skills nicely, but she has that high volleyball IQ. And that time gets a much needed answer for the Blackbirds. Hoyleman goes cross court. Sheets is there. And they'll set Sheets. Oppo, everything but finish. Like the play, like the idea, just didn't quite execute. Yeah, they would love to get in that scenario, I think, every time, but just did not execute on the hit Eldridge not quite a quick set in the middle and it doesn't matter because Brooklyn Michael doesn't need much tell you what Brooklyn Michael right now is just playing at another level and they need to find a way to get that volleyball in her strike zone and that time uh, Michael delivers she'll check in for Boer Sheets spins the ball in her hand goes deep Miller good first touch they'll set near pin Waldron tough timing they'll set far pin and Waldron lays out again out of the back row Rylan Beecher and how about that a good defense by the Pilots that time. They're really on the defense most of that point, but credit to Beecher. Didn't try to do too much with that ground spike, but the timing was perfect. Gets the uh, point off the block. And now once again, Harrisville has Pezville doubled up, this time at 8-4. And waiting to see what the clarification is here. A lineup issue. Who's on the floor that should be in this rotation? <laughs> And the floor official gives everybody the thumbs up. You see Michael and Waldron having some fun with it. So come out of the back row. Moving towards the net. Michael just didn't quite get her timing down. This will come out of the back row as well. Tremendous layout by Sierra. Hastings will set the middle. Good luck against Brooklyn Michael. They'll set far pin this time. Nice up by Beecher. Waldron couldn't quite get what she wanted on that shot. This one's going to sail and put away by Brooklyn Michael. Great job by Brooklyn Michael. That time the recipient of the party ball. An overpass that time by Pettisville. And Michael wasted little time turning that around. And now the lead goes to five here for the Pilots. Service ace, a premier bank service ace. And Laney Sheets finding a rhythm as they now are going to force Pettisville to call a timeout. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout as well. Located on County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. We're back after this on DCTV Sports.
Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Well, there you get a good look at the Pettisville Blackbirds huddle. Already up one set to nothing, but trailing. Ayersville here in set number two, 10 to four. You don't see any panic. This is a group that didn't get to be 21 and three by not letting the moment get too big for them. But scoop right now, Ayersville has lifted their level of play to start set number two. Well, I've been impressed with Ayersville here in set two because uh, you know they did some good things in set one, but they were just fighting that uphill battle. Ended up losing 25 to 19. But yet they flushed it. They've come out swinging here. And uh, wow, the Pirates off to a 10 4 start. A great timeout by uh, April Beck, the Blackbird head coach, trying to uh, settle the troops. Sheets with two straight off of her serve to make it a six point lead. Eldridge did a good job to get there. Michael tries to put it away. This is going to go deep. Almost an overpass and well played by Eldridge. Finally now into system. Michael with the termination. Great job staying with it by the pilots. And once they got in system, uh, look out as Brooklyn Michael continues to bring the heat. And now the lead up to a touchdown here at 11-4. Yeah, the scoreboard is incorrect. It's 11-4. Three straight off of sheet serve. Eldridge sets Waldron near pin. It's down! What an angle. Boy, you talk about a tough cut angle. Kendra Waldron that time finds the sideline. You saw a little chalk flying there. And right now, uh, the Pilots enjoying some separation now, up by eight. This should be 12 foot. There they go. They just finally put it up on the scoreboard. It's been slow here at Archbold. In system again, Waldron puts a hammer down. Far pin. Not much on this one by Harris. Quick set. Dinked over. Finesse from Brooklyn Michael. Tremendous job. She saw the uh, attack block coming. That time, Pellsville sent to her way. Made a little nifty adjustment. And now the largest lead at nine. 13 to four. Five straight off of Laney Sheets serve. Little miscommunication. Pettisville with an opportunity. Hastings. Tries to set the middle. Wimpkin. It goes out of bounds off the block, obviously. And a huge, much needed side out for Pettisville. Yeah, they need to get Laney Sheets off that uh, service line where she was able to uh, put some serious separation between these two. Harris goes deep. Nice set. Oh, what a layout by Strauss. And we're going to have a net violation. Ryland Beecher went well underneath it. Yeah, she did all she could to extend that point, but her momentum took her all the way on the Blackbird side of the net. So great job here by the Blackbirds trying to chip away. Well, Hastings with a nasty serve. Way off the hitting zone. Waldron just got it over. And that was just sauce for the goose for Naomi Reeker. Yeah, that time uh, Reeker, a recipient, the ball right in the strike zone there, and no block to be seen there by Ayersville. And now three consecutive points here by the Blackbirds. Boy, that ball barely cleared the tape. All or nothing. They'll set Reeker. A block was there, kept alive. Waldron goes cross court. They'll set Reeker again. Was that touched? Yes, it was. Waldron couldn't get out of the way. How about this? Five straight off of Sheets. Hastings is going to see if she can't answer it. Yeah, right now the Blackbirds have four consecutive points to creep within five. Three straight off of Hastings serve. And here's another free ball. Reeker. This will stay playable. Waldron. She deked the block. They thought she was going to unload, and then she just almost had her hand behind her head there, Scoop. That was a tough shot. Yeah, she wound up. Looked like she was going to try to bring the heat, and she just kind of threw a wrinkle. 
And Waldron with a service error. Makes it 14 to nine. Back to serve, Courtney Wimkin. Far pin, wow. And Brooklyn Michael gets things timed up. That's the result. Well, we've seen them so many times this season. When they're in system, they get the ball in their strike zone. I don't know how you can defend it. And right there was a clear-cut example as uh, just no chance for Pettisville to even make an attempt at that termination. Michael back to serve. Coming out of the back row, Reeker. Strauss, good up. That pass floated a bit. We'll see if Ayersville can do something with it. Michael trying to cut it. Here's a free ball. And this is going to be tough. Wow. Nothing they could do with it. Hastings on the dump. Eldridge. Michael. Is it playable? No. Well, both teams had their chances. We saw multiple free balls coming over from both sides of the net. But uh, once uh, Ayersville got in system, Michael does the rest to lead back to seven. Oh, Brooklyn Michael, tremendous serve. Miller being challenged by Be pardon me, Beecher. And side out, Pettisville. They're clawing back. Now to double digits. Ayersville still in command, but down one set to nothing. Well, Ayersville has to find a way to close out this set. They can't get looked Caught look at the scoreboard. They just have to go out and win one point at a time. On the slide play, Beecher goes cross court. Hastings will set Miller. Boy, when you get her right in the middle of the court, good luck. Well, you can feel uh, Pezville doing all they can to make a run, and they now have the lead trimmed to five. You can sense the crowd getting back into it for the Blackbirds. Another good deep serve. Flory. Miss hit it. Again, that hot zone, most coaches will tell you, is from the 10-foot hitting mark in. And more often than not, over the last six to seven points, Ayersville have seen their outside hitters farther and farther back. And here's another one. Hastings on the dump. Eldridge, Flory, finally in system. What a difference it makes. Well, nice to see him go right back to Grace Flory. And nice to see Flory not take her foot off the accelerator. She went right back with the heat and gets the kill off the block. A huge point there for the pilots. Eldridge right down the middle. Hastings will set Reeker. Block was there by Flory. Well, big time play once again by the second team GMC or Grace Flory, who timed that block perfectly. And now consecutive points here by Ayersville gets the lead back to six. 18-12, long run for Hastings. Ayersville with a gift, and it's going to be a long run for Eldridge. Can Flory do something with it? Yes! Wow. Well, Feeder, she continues to deliver, and once again, a great job, a tough shot there by Flory. But that finds the hardwood. And now three unanswered here by the Pilots. Another good deep serve at 19-12. Reeker goes cross court. Boy, what an up by Eldridge. Flory. Strauss. Hastings will set Miller. Self-preservation by Eldridge. Sheets. Give her another! Fantastic point there by the Pilots. And credit Allison Eldridge multiple times. Pettisville all but had that point. She's somehow able to dig it, retrieve it. But now the lead back to eight here, and the Pilots just five points away from closing out set two. Long run for Hastings. Ayersville with another free ball. In system. Whoa. Beecher with the termination. Well, my goodness, that time uh, caught Pettisville flat-footed. They had no blocker in sight here. And Beecher delivers. Timeout. Coach Beck in Pettisville. They took the first set rather handily, but they are on their heels in set number two, down 21-12. We're back after this on this Mark Motes Ford timeout. You're watching DCTV Sports. 
proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, 419-782-5080, online at baker-schindler.com. Back at Archbold High School, Brent Balbadon alongside Scoop Miller. As we have got district semifinal volleyball, top seeded Pettisville taking on fourth seeded Ayersville. Well, the Birds won the first set in pretty commanding fashion, 25 to 19, but the Pilots have come storming back off of really some strong serving. Laney Sheets with five straight made it 13 5. Now Allison Eldridge with four straight. And the Pilots beginning to sniff set number two up 21 to 12. Bottom fell out of this one. Hastings, they're going to set Miller. And was that a carry? Yes, it was. Five straight now off the serve of Allison Eldridge. Makes it 22 to 12. She'll go a little deeper this time. Can Flory do anything with this? She goes at Strauss, but this is a free ball, and Beecher puts it away. Well, Ayersville opportunistic. They got the party ball once again, and rather than Beecher, you could see her eyes light up, and she wasted little time. She's able to get the termination there off the party ball. Now, who would have thought we were going to have an 11-point separation in any set here tonight? N nobody. The block was there, falling down, and it was a great effort by Ryland Beecher, but a huge side out for Pettisville, although they have their work cut out for them. Down 23-13. Boy, they do. What a tremendous 7-0 uh, run there by the Pilots. Eldridge with a long run. Beecher taps it over. Hastings will set in the middle, and Miller somehow finds the center of the court. Yeah, great job by Miller. She kind of took a little bit off, and that allowed that ball to come down, find itself right on the baseline. And now consecutive points by the Blackbirds. But, boy, they have a mountain to climb here, still trailing by nine, deep in set two. Reeker unloads, but Sierra is there. Beecher with the tap. Can they get over a freebie? They can. Sheets too long. You know, that time Sheets decided on the second contact. Exactly. She was going for broke. And that time the southpaw delivered just a little bit long. And now three in a row by Pettisville. Reeker right at Waldron. Flory puts it down. She's playing with so much confidence. That was not an easy spike attempt from where she was at, but a tremendous job there by the pilots. Still playing aggressive. And now, looking at non hoople set point here. 24-15. <laughs> Beecher with a good serve. Free ball. Put away by Boer of all people. 25-15. Ayersville comes storming back after dropping set number one. Sauce for the goose. It's now the best two out of three. We'll take a quick timeout, a Mark Motes Ford timeout. On County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Don't you go anywhere. We're all tied at one set apiece in Archibald. Back after this on DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estill Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestill.com.
discover affordable transfer opportunities at Northwest State. Start here and save thousands on tuition. Our advising team will help you get your credits transferred. So don't wait another minute. Get started today. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. Back at Archbold High School Gymnasium, you take a look at, this time I would say, a stunned looking Pettisville huddle. They won set number one in pretty convincing fashion, 25-19 over Ayersville, but the four seated pilots came storming back in even more convincing fashion in set number two, punching the top seed right in the jaw, 25-15. So as we get set for set number three, Scoop, it's become a best two out of three right now. Well, you're right, uh, and credit Ayersville. They really turned the tide there early in that second set. They never trailed that entire se second set. They just kept uh, getting more separation, more confidence they went in. Now, this is going to be awfully big here. I think the first few points here of this third set, Pezville trying to right the ship, Ayersville trying to ride that wave of momentum. That carried them to that impressive 25-15 set two well, win. We talked about it in the pregame. What a tremendous, and we're not being dramatic when we say tremendous serving team that Pettisville is, but it was Ayersville serving in that second set, specifically five straight off of Laney Sheet serve and six straight off of Allison Eldridge that just made it too deep of a hole for the Blackbirds to dig themselves out of as we start set number three, and Pettisville gets a side out. Yeah, nice job by Olivia Miller that time. Uh, going with the strong hit there to net. Gets it off the block. Well, Hastings unloads. And that tapped over by Beecher. What a tremendous dive by Strauss. And did that go out of bounds off the block? Yes, it did. It did. So I like how Pezzos came out in aggressive attack mode. That's what they have to do. Get back to power volleyball. Something that kind of got away from them in set two. But it gave Ayersville a lot of credit for that with those aggressive serves. And tremendous uh, offensive firepower that we saw. Hastings went deep there. Floor has that one sent right back. It kind of skirted the tape and fell on the pilot's side of the court. And Hastings has now made it two in a row. And boy, that very deep serve. Flory again well behind the 10-foot mark. Not quite a quick set, but to Miller in the middle. Reeker on the far side. Somehow Eldridge got a piece of it, and Ayersville saves the point for now. That's going to sail, and it wins the point. Holy cow. Oh, that's a tough break for Pezville. They had the free ball, but they could not take advantage. That first contact ends up finding the net off the free ball. Rare mistake like that for Pettisville. That ends a 3-0 run to start out this third set by the Blackbirds. Beecher, right down central. Miller with a good first touch. They will set Reeker on the near pin, and the block is there. And how about this? The freshman Boer is checked in. We had to do a double take on our roster here, but Scoop, she has played well beyond. Granted, I know you're going to say she's no longer a freshman after a season under her belt, but how impressive. Oh, no doubt about it. At that time, they had the double block attack set up perfectly. Look at the this. They set her up. Has come in here just unfazed at all. Is that out of bounds off the block? No, it's wide and long. And Ayersville's not showing any signs of slowing down here as set number three opens up. Very short serve. Miller didn't lay out, and that's going to end up being a Premier Bank ace. Well, tremendous job again by Ryland Beecher, who again has been outstanding. 98% service accuracy on the season comes up with the big ace here. This time she'll go deep to the far corner. Miller. Ball came a little flat off of her hands. Zartman unloaded, came right back at her. Who wants it? Nobody. 
At that time, a little indecisiveness by the pilots on, on a couple of those hits and results in a, a rare uh, missed opportunity there for the pilots. Reeker. Going to run a slide play, and Flory puts it away. Good deep serve. Wow. Miley Harris says, remember me? I started strong in set number one. Well, she was everything in that first set and really carried Pettisville to that impressive 25-19 opening set victory. But she was awfully quiet in that second yeah. set. They would love to see her get warmed up here early in this third set. Reeker sends a floater deep. And Ayersville couldn't get anything on it, but yet they get caught. They being Pettisville, just standing around watching. That's going to be the easiest point of the night. Yeah, and again, credit there. So they've gotten Pettisville out of sync. Something we said about the Blackbirds doing to the Pirates yeah. in an opening set. Oh, boy. That ball barely, and I mean barely cleared the tape, and Sheets picks up. A Premier Bank ace. Well, it didn't look like anybody in the Pezville side thought that had a chance to get over. They were caught flat-footed on that one, and that serve hit the hardwood. Harris stopped. Michael with another block. Right now, uh, Brooklyn Michael just playing at a complete different level yep. than any player out there on the court. And boy, she's been phenomenal as a blocker at the net. Sheets again. Oh, my goodness. That thing's an optical illusion as it crosses the net. Waldron dinks it over. And Pezville trying all they can. That time they went with the pipe set to Naomi Reeker. But once Reeker hit that, there was nobody covering the middle there for Pettisville. Ayersville dumps it in. And after trailing 3-0, pilots up 9-5. Sheets with three straight. She thought she might have had an ace to make it four. We play on. Put down by Wimkin. Well, must be the point and credit Courtney Wimkin that time. She went right at Michael. And Michael was delivered practically every time of night. That one she blocks, tried to keep it alive with the tip. Quick set. Nifty job by Miller out of the back row to keep it alive. Michael off the quick set, and the block's there. This time it's Wimkin. Well, how about Olivia Miller? The, that time, Blackbirds had no business getting that point, and you could feel the momentum shifting, and now you can kind of feel it coming back here for Pettisville. Cross court. Sheets, nice job. Quick set again, just long. There's a couple chances right there for Ayersville. They had the ball really in the strike zone, and each time Pez would be able to dodge the bullet. Deep serve, and Sheets had trouble with that one. Opportunity here for Pettisville. Serve was a little bit behind Harris. Likewise on Waldron, couldn't unload the way she wanted. Out of the back row, Reeker. Sierra's there, what an up. Incredible save there by the pilots to extend this point. Hastings tried the dump. Waldron just simply missed hit the ball. Timeout, Ayersville. We are tied at nine. This timeout brought to you by Mark Motes Ford, serving the area since 1916, located on County Road 424 in Defiance, or online at markmotesford.com. Ayersville nine. Pettisville 9, both sets, pardon me, both teams with a set apiece. We're back after this on DCTV Sports. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Another look at the Pettisville huddle. They jumped out to a first set win, 25-19. Just got stomped by Ayersville in set number two, 
25-15. Take a look at it as Division 7 district semifinal for seeded Ayersville, giving top seeded Pettisville all they can handle. The winner advances to Wednesday night in first round of districts as Waldron had that one come back at her. Hastings will set far pin. Harris terminates. Well, once again, Miley Harris comes up big as they found her strike zone and the senior delivers. And now we have our second lead change of his third set and it belongs to the Blackbirds. Hoyleman, this one gets down for a premier bank service ace. Uh, what a run here for Pettisville. This is now six consecutive points by the Blackbirds. Eldridge set Michael on the near side and second time's a charm. Wow, what an athletic play by Kendra Waldron. Looked like Pettisville all but had that point. Waldron only had one possible opportunity. He's able to make the uh, quick dump over. And Waldron is an athlete as she unloads there. This is a long run for Hastings. Eldridge sets the middle. Oh. Michael knows what to do with it. Well, great job again finding Michael there and getting it in the strike zone. And don't look now, but we got French fries on the board at 11-11. This is our fifth tie here in this third set. Oh, what a serve. Strauss with a nifty rip and at the net, Brooklyn Michael says, jump on my back, I will carry you. I tell you what, she's just been dynamite here tonight. And if you're Pezville, you may have to rethink, do we want to continue to go at her or do we try to go oppo? Deep serve, Strauss plays it. Nothing that Pettisville can do. Eldridge instead sets Beecher. Wimkin. Waldron keeps it up. Beecher will get another opportunity. This time Miller out of the back row saves it. That's overplayed, and that's just great aggressiveness by Miley Harris. The front row on the far side for Ayersville hesitated. Harris didn't, and she won that point. Well, that was point. a difference because that was really an overpass that uh, Ayersville should have put away. But yep. credit Harris, she recognized it, tried to get an early touch on it. Ah, miscommunication there, and another free ball. Reacher. Beecher dumps it over. Reeker saves it at the net. I think we have got a violation. It's going against Pettisville. You know, that time, Pettisville was certainly in defense mode. And Ayersville ends up tying things up, uh, or I'm sorry, retaking the lead. 13-12. Put down by Naomi Reeker. Great job by Reeker. She goes right back to work. Great job with that cut angle shot there cross court. And now we have our seventh tie of this third set at 13 on. Slide play. Beecher goes cross court. Hastings will set Reeker. And off the block. It gets down. You know, this is our fourth lead change, and this one belongs to Pettisville once again. It's been a back and forth contest, seven ties, four lead changes here, and we're midway through this third set. That one sails deep. Service error makes it side out. Now makes it eight ties here in set number three. Eldridge, 93% server on the season. Entered tonight's contest with 38 aces. Good deep serve. Hastings sets Miller far pin. On the dump, it was a great idea, but she was running basically across her body there, Scoop, and just couldn't quite get enough underneath I like it. what she was doing. You could see it coming and uh, just couldn't quite execute it, hit the tape. Hastings, not quite a quick set. Doesn't matter for Miller. It's kept alive. Again, overpassed, and Flory quite couldn't gauge it. Neither team in system right now. Reek, and Reeker has this one off the block. It's out of bounds. Point 
Pettisville. Now that's the huge juncture of this third set, and actually the entire match. And right now, Pettisville trying to get the upper hand up by two with the serve. Hastings a 96% server. Flory moving towards the net. Kept alive. They'll have to do it again. Eldridge. Beecher into the stands. Yeah, much needed point there by the pilots, and uh, they executed on levels there. Defense was excellent. First contact was excellent. And they're able to get the, uh, the kill there, much needed. That cuts the lead down to one. Ryland Beecher, an excellent server in her own right, entering the night's contest at just under 98%. Miller, boy, they set the middle and she unloaded. Eldridge makes sure it clears. Hastings sets Reeker. Wow, did that take out? <laughs> okay, Allison Eldridge was just kind of hamming around a little bit. For a second, I thought that one might have put her in La La Land. I tell you what, uh, Reeker put the hammer down that time, big time. Well done by the Blackbirds. Reeker back to serve. Boer sends over a freebie. Cross court, Harris. Nice job by Sierra. Can somebody get to it? They cannot. All important third set. It's now, it should be 18-15, correct? Correct, an all important point right here. We have not had much separation since early in this set. Critical juncture for both teams. Flory, right into Reeker. Far pin. Block is there. Zartman and Flory, oh my. Are they saying that ball was carried? The tower official here, Terry Holman. And that is a call that Pettisville is absolutely livid with. Service ace. Premier Bank ace service ace, and it comes at a great time as once again, Grace Flory delivers. 18-17, trying to work their way back to a tie. It would be the ninth of the set if they can do so. Eldridge, who has to tap it over. Hastings, nothing there. Ayersville with a gift. Can they do something with it? Quick set. Yes, they can! Tremendous job by the Pilots. They had the benefit of getting the free ball. They did not miss out. They got in system, and Michael does the rest. Our ninth tie, this time at 18. Good deep serve. Little miscommunication in the back row. Harris, oh, what an up by Beecher. Pettisville with a gift. Miller, nice up by Eldridge. Flory, what an angle. It's just wide. Just wide. Wow, you talk about a game of inches. That time, Pezzo's in control of most of that point, but it looked like Earsville for a second pulled it out of a hat, just misses, clipping the sideline. And the lead back to Pettisville, 19-18, deep in set three. Got this is the sixth lead change of this set. Eldridge sets. Brooklyn Michael, you get her that position, that accurate a set, and I'll put my money on her every single time. Oh, no question about it, and that's where they're going to try to go as long as she's in that front row. We now have had her 10th tie, this one at 19. Out of the back row, Reeker sends it long. 19-19, timeout, Pettisville. You don't think Coach April Beck understands the importance of this third set. Tied at a set apiece and down one, 2019. Back after this Mark Motes Ford timeout, you're watching DC TV Sports. Back at the Thunderdome, Archibald High School Gymnasium, Brent Palvinot alongside Scoop Miller. We've got a sectional semifinal volleyball playoff. Four-seeded Ayersville taking on number one-seeded Pettisville. Both teams have split the first two sets. The Pilots 
first one to that all-important 20 mark. It's now become a five-point set in a crucial swing third set. Well, this really is, uh, you know, this shifts the pressure from one team to the next, depending on who can close out set three. Monster serve coming up here for Airfield, trying to get any separation it can get. Well, Sheets has been money so far tonight off of her serve. And just as I say that, they don't even get a point off of this one. This will be the 11th tie of this set. Great response out of the timeout by the Blackbirds. Now trying to look for another lead change. Hoyleman goes deep and cross court. That pass floats a bit. Waldron couldn't do anything with it, and that's one too many touches. They're going to actually call a carry. Tenth lead change. And just like that, Pettisville back up by a point. Low serve. Tremendous job from her knees by Sierra. Boy, Michael unloaded. Harris will try and do the same. Bumped up. Waldron just tries to keep it alive. Hastings sets Harris again. Beecher, and that one just kind of teased everybody at the net, and it fell Pettisville's way. Well, three in a row for the Blackbirds after the timeout, and Ayersville will respond with a timeout of their own. 22-20, we will keep it here. We will keep it here. As now just three points away from a two sets to one lead. I know one of the strategies for the Blackbirds tonight, Scoop, was to avoid Michaela Laker-Sierra on the serve. I know the coaching staff for Pettisville had a ton, more like specifically has, it's not past tense, has a ton of respect for the Ayersville libero. But right now, both teams service. Which is impressing you more, the service or the serve received by both teams right now? That's a great question because we've seen some monster serves on both sides, but we've also seen some great serve reception. So I would maybe lean to the serve reception. It's been that good. And controlling the back row is definitely going to determine our winner here tonight. Wimpkin. Good serve. They go right at Sierra in system. Dinked over by Michael. Ayersville will get another free ball in system. This time Michael unloads, but the block is there by Wimpkin. Waldron tries to go cross court. They'll set Harris. Block is there by Michael! Uh, what a play by Michael because that time Pesville had the look they wanted. They go right to Miley Harris who's been money there at the net. They got it in her strike zone. But Michael, with a hustle play, gets the position, times the block perfectly. Ayersville trying to tie. Harris from the near pin. Sierra's there. Beecher goes cross court. Confusion in the back row. Look at this. They'll set far pin to near pin. Ayersville with a gift. Combination play. Beecher with the dink. Hastings with the dump. Michael misplayed that ball. I wasn't sure from where we were sitting. It looked like it might have been floating wide, but Michael clearly had the better angle on it. Well, the second contact kind of throws you off a little bit. That one clips the net. Beecher will send over a freebie. Hastings to Harris. Block is there, but it's out of bounds. Double set, actually triple set point for Pettisville. Oh, this is huge. Miley Harris trying to close out set three for the Blackbirds. Back to serve. Goes deep. Miss hit. Harrisville will send over a freebie. Hastings far pin. Reeker. Great up by Waldron. They'll set Reeker again. This time she gets it. 25-21. A tremendous third set. And top-seeded Pettisville now in the driver's seat up two sets to one as we head to set four. Don't you go anywhere. We're back after this Mark Motesford timeout on DCTV Sports.
Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Well, the sludge is gone when you get this deep into the playoffs. And right there you see Ayersville and Pettisville, the fourth-seeded pilots, the top-seeded Blackbirds. A battle royale here. Sectional semifinals. And what a third set as the Blackbirds take it 25-21. They are now up two sets to one. And a look to close it out here in set four, Ayersville going to try and force a fifth and deciding set. Well, how about that execution down the stretch by Pettisville? They were really flawless, were able to control the back row, got in system, got it into the strike zone. And wow, their hitting game came alive down there, as was uh, seen on that last point that secured the third set for Pettisville, now up two sets of one, trying to close out the pilots here. Starting it off, Flory in system, but again, Strauss has been all over the back row. Reeker, Waldron was there to keep it alive. They'll go to Reeker again, and this time, too much. So right now, if you're Pettisville, don't outcoach yourself. Go to Naomi Reeker, who's just on fire right now, and boy, she's just getting up a little bit extra with each and every jump, and Ayersville has not had an answer for here for quite some time. Eldridge sets near pin to Flory. Give her the kill. Now, good response by the pilots. That's the thing they have to minimize, those runs that kind of hurt them back in that third set. We saw a couple early by Pettisville and a couple uh, late. And there's oh, a service ace. Premier Bank ace. Great job that time by Allison Eldridge, who... Again, led the team and aces coming in with 38, and she's certainly added that total here tonight. Puts your team up by one. Another good serve, but Miller with a good adjustment, and they will set Miller. Sails over, and who wants it? That pass floated and out of bounds. Boy, I'm not sure that she saw it. She had her back to the play for a second, but... Ayersville draws a break. Well, Sheets made the smart play, just trying to get out of the way, not let that find her. Boy, good low serve into the back row, and Wellman couldn't do much with it. Ayersville can't do much with it, period. Out of bounds, off the block. 
Naomi Reeker, check that. Was that Harris? Yeah, this has turned into a slugfest, which on paper we thought we'd see. Good deep serve. Waldron had trouble with it. Here's Phil will send over a gift. Quick set, Miller. Oh, what a layout by Eldridge, but she just couldn't get it done. Uh, credit Olivia Miller. She just uh, didn't try to do too much that time. Was able to uh, dink it in the right spot. Reeker to serve again. Flory comes right back at her. Beecher sends it over. They'll set Harris. Floor moving towards the net. It's long and it is not touched. I thought for a second it might have been touched at the net. It was not. All of a sudden, this is what? Three straight points off a of Reeker serve. Almost had a ace. Harris, a little bit of a collision in the back row between Sierra and Waldron. Block is there, and Miller, I think we got a net violation. Nope, too many contacts. Four Looks hits, like four yeah, hits. It, One too many contacts. Block, it hit the tape. I think the officials got it right once again. So this is four straight off the service of Reeker. Harris. Again, court coverage. That was one of the things that Coach Taven Tyler said they had worked feverishly on since last week's win. And you see miscommunication again there. Five straight off a of breaker serve. Beecher tries to put it down back row. Nothing doing. Oh, that's a tough pass. Will that clear? It will not. And I'm beginning to think that maybe Coach Tyler will want a timeout here. 7-3, and she does. Five straight off the service of Naomi Reeker in a crucial four set with Pettisville up two sets to one. Ayersville down 7-3. We're back after this Mark Motes Ford timeout on DCTV Sports. Discover affordable transfer opportunities at Northwest State. Start here and save thousands on tuition. Our advising team will help you get your credits transferred. So don't wait another minute. Get started today. There you get a good look at head coach Taven Tyler. She's nodding in agreement with something. Right now you can see the frustration setting in to that Ayersville huddle. Scoop, it's so tough when you put everything and then some into your play and you come up just a bit short. But the simple answer is this. If you're Ayersville, you've got to figure out a way to flush it and refocus because you have no more margin for error down no, two sets to one. To keep you, you, you're not going to play perfect volleyball in any set or any match, but what you have to do is you can't take plays off. So right now, play through the run. Pettisville playing awfully well, but we've seen this Ayersville team, when they've been on a roll here tonight, they've been unstoppable. Beecher puts it down, and finally, a run of six straight points off of Naomi Reeker's serve comes to an end. You know, that's the, one of those coach killed timeouts where it did exactly what it was designed to do, just kind of get them out of rhythm a little bit, change the tone a little bit, and now Ayersville uh, can get some momentum on their side here as they step back to serve, trailing by three here in this fourth set. Beecher specifically to serve. Near pin, Miller dinks it over. They'll set far pin. Harris couldn't quite get her timing down. Boer can't either. Who wants to get in system first? Quick set, Miller. Sierra's there. Nobody else can do it. No credit, Pezzo. They continue to put a lot of heat on this Ayersville defense. But right now, they've got things going their way after trailing 3-1. to one, The Blackbirds find themselves up 8-4. Miller with a good serve. Eldridge to the far pin and put down by Floor. They run her to the far side. It's her well, second really kill. That system, but uh, boy, what a shot by Flory as she's able to paint one just inside the baseline. 
And a huge point for the Pilots trying to work their way back in it, trailing by just three. And as often happens, you get a kill, you go back to serve. Out of the back row. All right, Ayersville. Can they do something with it? Off the block, Michael almost had the kill, and it's unorthodox, but she's got her first kill of the four set. And they'll take it right now. The Pilots trying to do everything they can to work back in it. Still a lot of volleyball left. Deep serve. Harris. Block was there, but rolled right down the forearms of Michael. Great job by Harris. Uh, just 5-7, but wow, she delivers the heat. And that time she went right at the double attack block. She gets the kill off the block. Wimkin going deep and right at Sierra. Quick set. Michael, quick termination. Well, that's what they need. Those terminations seem to get the juices flowed up, not just the crowd, but on the court. So we'll see if this can have a carryover effect. Great job by Michael once again. And she gets that termination back at that deep left corner. Sheets. Boy, nasty floating serve. Out of the back row, it's just long. Now, yeah, great decision by Michaela Laker Sierra that time to let that ball sail long. It was the right call out by inches. Cross court, Eldridge doesn't even have to move. Michael, boy, Wimpkin sends it right back at her and dumped over! What a smart play by Allison Eldridge. Everybody's expecting Michael to get that set. She made the perfect dump. And after giving up six straight to the Blackbirds early in the set, we have our second, I'm sorry, third tie. This is at 9-9, but uh, that serve catches the net. And Pezzel jumps back on top. Harris, 92% serving this season. It's just no weak links at the service line for this Blackbirds team. Trying to thread the needle there, but Reeker couldn't do anything with it, and that's just long. Now they need to get a side out on Molly Harris because she's a girl that can put some separation between these two with her serving it. Abilities. Bad first touch, and there it is. That was easy pickings for Courtney Wemkin. Ah, great job by Wemkin, the recipient of the party ball. That time the overpass off the tough serve from Miley Harris. Now the lead back to three for Pettisville. It's three straight off the service of Harris. Michael. Oh, wow, what a tremendous up, and is this going to clear the net? It will. Eldridge to Michael. Tape unkind. Reeker. Out of bounds. How about Naomi Reeker? She made that play happen. Made an incredible save on the third hit. And then she gets right back up. And you can see that look in her eyes. Give me the volleyball. And there she delivers with the kill. Harris goes deep and a rare bad touch by Sierra. Hastings to Reeker far pin, and she's firing on all cylinders. All cylinders. Yeah, you have to find a way to take her out of the equation. Easier said than done. But right now, she's got the fire in her eyes. Critical point here. Already up 14-9. Slide play, Waldron unloads, and it falls with miscommunication between Harris and Strauss. Well, if you're Ayersville, you have to use that. You got a break right there. You, you got a much needed point. You got Harris off the service line. Now try to make a mini run, get back in it. Reeker, block is there by Michael. Yeah, welcome to the block party once again as Brooklyn Michael read that like a book, timed it perfectly. And now two in a row by Ayersville. Ayersville trying to get in on it, and there's a service ace. A Premier Bank service ace. And right now, Ayersville not going away quietly. As uh, Kendra Waldron serving up some serious heat right now. Goes deep again. 
Far pin, Reeker. Oh! Boy, that just developed in slow motion right in front of us, and you could tell it was going to be something. My goodness, if you want to see that, you're going to have to see it in super slow motion because she is bringing some serious heat. And wow, what a way to end a mini run by the Pilots. I've got her for four kills in this fourth set alone. Can she get five? No, because Brooklyn Michael says, I'm also in the middle. Holy cow. Brooklyn Michael making her presence felt uh, all night long. And wow, that was a, hate to say it, it gets overused, but I think that was a must win point here for the Pilots who now trail by just two, trying to cut the lead in half. Michael, just a bit long, again, amped up. Hastings will do the honors. Long run for Eldridge. Tough for Florida to do anything with that. And look at this, yet Ayersville's gonna get a gift, and wow, Eldridge, tell you what, that's the most unorthodox point we've seen so far tonight. If you're Ayersville, you won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Nope, you just take what's there, and that time uh, Potts are able to cash in there on perhaps a gift. But once again, a chance to cut the lead to one. They're going to set Reeker near pin. And what was the... All right, violation on Ayersville. That's another kill for Reeker, technically. 17-14. She's back to serve. Long run for Eldridge. They got a clear for Flory, and yet still she puts it away. Wow, what a clutch shot that time from Grace Flory. Again, you're getting deep into this fourth set. You don't want to fall behind any more than you have. Boy, that's a monster point. Instead of fall behind four, they cut the lead to two. And we'll see if uh, Ryland Beecher can cut it in half here with her serve. Harris, Sierra as she often is, is there. And it makes a difference. 17-16. You know, you're playing the number one seed here. You're not expected to win. You're down a couple sets to one, but they're battling. Oh, service ace by Beecher. Well, that's a Premier Bank service ace, and uh, we have a tie. This is our fourth one of the four set. This one at 17 all. Three straight off of Beecher's serve. Strauss is there. Miller goes cross court. Beecher off of Strauss's platform. And look at this. Uh, incredible. What a job here by the Pilots. And uh, credit coach April Beck. She recognizes things have changed. And she burns the Pettisville timeout. Ayersville now up by a point. We'll take a quick Mark Most Ford timeout. Back with more on DCTV Sports. The Strady Center for the Arts. Entertainment on a whole new level. The Strady Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. Fourth set. There you see the fourth seated Ayersville Pilots break their huddle. There you see the top seated Pettisville Blackbirds break theirs. Number one seed Pettisville leading fourth seed Ayersville. Two sets to one, but Ayersville has come storming back here in set number four to take the lead 18-17. Trying to force a fifth and deciding set. Harris has other plans. Well, that's a huge side out. Anytime you can get a quick side out on Ryland Beach, or you're gonna take it. But now another tie, this one at 18. Miller puts a fist into it, going deep. Tough first touch. Boer moving towards it and sends it wide. Yeah, great first serve once again from Miller. As that was a tough one. To oh, handle. very short serve. 
clips the net. Well, it was a great idea. Everybody will say because it clipped the tape that it's lucky, but that was a really low-risk, high-reward play. And now Ayersville wants a timeout. Twenty eighteen. And now I'm looking into that Ayersville huddle. This is where things might get a little tight. Understanding that there is no more margin for error, you see a very collected Coach Taven Tyler addressing her team. Yeah, this is where it's critical. You, you can't really let the scoreboard dictate how you play. Easier said than done, but you have to go out with your game. You can't go out there thinking about the last couple points. you got to go out there with that mentality, hey, we can do this. Let's win the next point. But I love that last serve from Olivia Miller. After serving that deep bullet her first time, Boy, she just threw a change up there, and uh, it did catch the tape, but uh, that had everybody fooled from the get-go. And now a monster point coming up for both teams as the Blackbirds uh, up two with the serve. Miller trying to keep this service string alive. High but very short serve. Flory had to come up, so Waldron will do the honors and a much-needed side out. Wow, what an answer uh, from Kendra Waldron. In crunch time, they get a nice uh, dig, an excellent soft set, and Waldron drops a dime there just inside that baseline. Flory with a low line drive and a service ace, a Premier Bank service ace, yourpremierbank.com. And just like that, how this thing has changed in the space of two serves. Now this is our sixth tie, and right now uh, the pot is trying to make a lead change of it. They'll set Waldron near pin. Off the block. Harris unloads. Man, they just have so much talent. They just keep swinging, and that time Harris uh, brings the heater. And there's still an exit position there with that attack block, but uh, Harris gets the kill off the block. And Pezville maintains that lead up 21-20. Wimpkin goes right at Sierra. Waldron. Uh, this will be an effective free ball. Harris at the net, off the block. Oh, what an up by Waldron. We'll play on. There's that court coverage they've been working on. We'll see if they can turn it around. And this one sent way long by Miley Harris. Wow, what great defense by the Pilots, who have now uh, worked this fourth set back to its seventh tie at 21 apiece. Sheets, good low serve. Near pin. Harris tries to tap it over. Waldron couldn't do anything with the angle. Four white jerseys converge on it. Harris, it comes right back at her. Yeah, right now the Pilots are locked in, playing some excellent volleyball. And a huge point coming up. Oh, and, uh, man. They'll recognize it. They're going to burn a timeout as the Blackbirds trail by one here, deep in set four. 22-21. Ayersville needs it or it's over. We'll take a Mark Motes Ford timeout. Back with more on DC TV Sports. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Fourth set, top-seeded Pennisville leading fourth-seeded Ayersville, two sets to one. But the fourth seeded Pilots leading here in fourth set number four, 22 21. And Laney Sheets, who has had runs of five, three, and four points off her serve throughout the night, hoping to have three more here and to force a fifth and deciding set. This will come out of the back row. Confusion. Eldridge has to run it down. Waldron goes cross court. Strauss is there. Harris unloads. Waldron, can she save it? She does. On the dump, Hastings. 
Ayersville and System. Oh. Michael with the termination. Great execution that time by the pilots. They got in System, and you could see it coming. Everybody knew it was going to go to Michael. And wow, did she deliver that ball just inside the sideline. And now the pilots just two points away from evening out the uh, this match, it's two sets apiece. Ayersville's faithful all of a sudden with new life. Sheets goes cross court. Hastings will set near pin. Tremendous up by Eldridge, can they save it? That was a valiant effort from Sierra, but just impossible. Yeah, great effort, she left everything out there. And now Pettisville, perhaps her top server, and Miley Harris trying to tie things up as the Blackbirds trail by one. Low serve, but Sierra with a good first touch. They'll set Michael! Well, how big is that? Getting a quick side out on Harris, but great job by Ayersville. Control that back row. They got in system, and wow. Michael Double set point. Waldron will try and force set five. Almost with an ace. Reeker unloads. Sierra's there. There it is! 25-22. We will have a fifth and deciding set. Don't you go anywhere. Set number five. When we come back to the Thunderdome, I'm Mark Motes Ford timeout. You're watching DC TV Sports. Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding. 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance, and online at drivebobestel.com. Back at Archbold High School Gymnasium, they call it the Thunderdome. And if you remember the movie, Mad Max 3, it's because they fought there. And this has been a battle royale. District semi, pardon me, sectional semi-final action. Fourth seeded Ayersville. Top seeded Pettisville. We go to set number five. First one to 15 by two. Earns the right to wear the uniform one more time. They'll be right back here at this gym on Wednesday night in the opening round of districts. Scoop. And five setters, no stranger to either one of these no. teams. Uh, Ayersville, unfortunately. Ofer. Ofer in five set matches. Pettisville, four and one. The Blackbirds beat Paulding, Hitchville, Stryker, and Hilltop in five. The only loss in five sets was to the locomotives of Mount Pillar. Meanwhile, Ayersville's 
had their share as well, losing to Evergreen, <laughs> Defiance, Fairview, and Wayne Trace. Eldridge opens up set five. Reeker almost with the termination, but it's kept alive out of the back row, Waldron. Hastings will set Reeker. Cross court, Sierra laid out. First point goes to the Blackbirds. Uh, what a great job. Go right to Reeker right away. And Reeker, who's been uh, dialed in this entire match, delivers for Pettisville one more time. Hastings with a bullet. Flory, again, a little off the net. Reeker likewise. Better inside the hot zone, and Flory makes him pay. You can't say enough about what Grace Flory has brought to the court here tonight. She really has been clicking on all cylinders. And that time, uh, you could feel the, the pressure mounting with each and every point here tonight. At that time, Flory, the junior, delivers. Senior Ryland Beecher. 98% a server this season. Puts a fist into it. Cross court, and it's just long. Hoyleman got what she wanted, but just didn't execute. Yeah, that time the junior outside hitter was trying to go with that tough cut angle cross court shot. Misses by a few inches. They'll set near pin. Breaker. Out of the back row. Hastings in system. Quick set. Miller took a little something off of it for placement. Here comes. Is that Boer? The freshman is in this rotation. Great job from Eldridge out of her knees. A little pinball being played. Freaker can't do anything with this. Eldridge with a long run. Set. Cross court. Flory. They ran her up the middle. What great execution. We have not seen that one all night. They ran her up the middle. They had an excellent back set to her. And once again, Flory delivers three straight here by the Pilots. Beecher with two straight off her serve. Almost a service ace there. And how about this? The freshman Boer with the kill. Well, what a big time play by the freshman. Kendall Boer did everything right. Was the aggressor on that party ball. Puts it away. Now four straight for the Pilots. Short serve, Hastings will set Reeker near side. It's out of bounds off the Ayersville block. Did not hit a block, so that ball clearly just landed out. Oh, it did. So All right. Run and Pettisville wants to talk it over. Make that four straight off of Beecher. From where we were sitting, I was partially screened out by the tower official. Pettisville was celebrating as if it was out of bounds off the block, but apparently it just skirted the tape. Nobody touched it, and now it's 5-1. Pilot says we will keep it here. And right now, trying to make sure that you stay even keeled in that pilot huddle. It's easy to get amped up, maybe rush yourself. On the flip side, taking a look at Coach April Beck, trying to lay down the law here with her team, saying we are still very much in it. We just need a side out. Yeah, uh, five straight. So, you know, you get to that fist and that deciding set you want to go to 15 I, I like the early timeout several troops down we've seen how both these teams when they get in system how they can turn things around in a hurry so great start here by the pilots but again uh, this is kind of uncharted territory here for Ayersville as we mentioned over in five setups yep. this season Boy, this would be a great way to get number one. Almost a service ace there by Beecher as they will set Reeker near pin. There's the side out that Pettisville needed. A great response as great teams do out of timeouts, and Pettisville gets back control of the serve. And Naomi Reeker, the junior, the deep floater. Pettisville will get something to work with here. Hastings. Down the middle, Miller, instead of unloading, goes with the finesse. And now Pettisville all of a sudden uh, just kind of flips the switch, and now they've got momentum on their side. Still trailing by two. But Reeker back to serve once again, who's been dynamite behind the strike. A great low serve, and this one not quite terminated. Sierra will send over a free ball. Hastings, quick set to Miller. That's double touch on the freshman. And Miller with two quick terminations.
to pull Pettisville back to within one. How about Pettisville once again? Three consecutive points after the timeout with a chance to tie it right here. Reeker goes deep again. They're going at Flory. They'll set her anyway. Oh, and Strauss decides to play it. From where we were at, we couldn't tell. It looked like it might have been floating wide. Now, granted, she was right on top of that ball, but that's huge for Ayersville. It is. It gives them a, a little cushion, but again, you can't get caught scoreboard looking, so you go out, execute the next play, continue to play at a high level, something they've done here the last two sets. Flory with a good serve. Miller near pin, and out of bounds off the Ayersville block. Well, Olivia Miller, one of many heroes tonight for Pettisville, bringing her A game. And that time, Miller gives the Blackbirds a much needed point. And now she steps back to serve, trying to tie things up. Cross court. Harris. Oh, what a save by Waldron. And it pays off! Side out, Pilots. Uh, alert play once again by Brooklyn Michael. That second contact, she didn't have anything to do with it, so she made the dump. It was the right move. Sheets has been the hottest server tonight for Ayersville. Almost picked up the ace. Eldridge sets Michael, who dinks it over. We play on. Eldridge again. Michael, got it! Well, they could not stop her when she gets it in the middle. You knew it was going there once again. Great execution by Ayersville. And now they have the lead up to three with the serve, trying to get some separation here in set five. They're over halfway there. First one to 15. Free ball. Waldron was on top of it. Ayersville gets a freebie. Quick set again to Michael. Playing on. Michael terminates. Give me the ball. She's calling for it. Great job by Michael once again. Pestville somehow made the incredible dig off the first spike attempt, but that first contact, she went for broke. She got it. Three straight off of Sheets' serve. She's trying to make it four. They'll set Harris. Block is there. This is going to be a freebie, and they miss the dump. Harris unloads. That's, cool. That's one too many. That's too many contacts. Oh, a missed opportunity for Pettisville. One Coach Beck's got to get a timeout. Yeah, that's the right call. Yep. And right now, uh, Pettisville's doubled up 10-5. We'll take a quick timeout, a Mark Motes Ford timeout. Ayersville inching closer to advancing. Can they do it, or does Pettisville have something left in them? We're back after this on DC TV Sports. Back at Archbold High School. Sectional semifinal volleyball, four-seeded Ayersville. Set number five, leading top-seeded Pettisville, 10-5. Birds will run it out of the back row. Eldridge will set Waldron cross court. They'll get something in system here. Wimpkin stopped, and another block by Michael. Well, Michael once again just completely turned that play around. Pettisville was in control. But Michael goes out there, makes an improbable block. Sheets now with five straight off of her serve. Harris cross court. Oh. Block is out again. Brooklyn Michael says, jump on my back. The block party continues. Michael just delivers time and time again. And right now, uh, Ayersville three points away from closing out this match. Pilots beginning to snip it. Harris cuts. What an incredible shot. And it couldn't have come at a better time for the Birds. They oh, needed it. That was huge. Great job by Harris there. A difficult cut angle shot. But the senior delivers. Deep serve coming off of Hoyleman. They'll set Waldron. The block is there. 
Great up by Beecher. The dump. They'll set Harris. Goes cross court. Waldron unloads. Give it to her! Now Waldron's been clutch here in this fourth and fifth set, but how about that save by Rylan Beecher? She had no business extending that point. And by doing so, the Pilots now creep closer, just two points away. Waldron, good low serve. Reeker out of the back row. Sheets out of the back row. Who can get into system more? Harris with the termination. Tremendous uh, hit once again by Harris. As that was a any must point we've seen tonight. That was it. And Harris comes through. They still have a mountain to climb down six. She's back to serve. Sierra, nicely done. They'll set Michael. Maybe a little too amped up. Send it along. Great job by Pezville, staying poised. Just trying to focus on the next point. Eldridge sets Beecher. We've come to match point! Yeah, not just match point, sextuple match point. So the pilots will have uh, six opportunities if necessary. How about this? More appropriate for junior Brooklyn Michael to try and serve this one out. Almost an ace. Free ball comes over in system. They'll set Beecher. Strauss is there. Beecher again. Playing on. Third time in system off the slide play. Block is there. Eldridge will set Flory near pin. Reeker. Eldridge to the near pin. Flory. What an up by Miller. Reeker with a dump. Flory again. Oh, man. Reeker. There it is. Give him the upset. Give him the win. Five sets. Their sixth fifth setter of the season. The sixth time was a charm. And head coach Taven Tyler and the Ayersville Pilots firing up the Pistons on their upset special. They'll be right back here in this gym again on Wednesday night. Just incredible, and what a fitting end on that match point. Uh, five times, Ayersville was in system. Each time, Pezville fought it off, but uh, the persistence paid off there by the Pilots, and they are moving on indeed to Wednesday night, six o'clock final, right here at the Thunderdome to take on the winner of number two-seeded Hilltop and number three-seeded Edgerton. What a match. Well, uh, this is the game for the ages for the Pilots, as you mentioned, Brent. Uh, they've just been bit by those fifth setters all season long. You wonder if it might have been their heads here tonight. It was not, obviously, as Pettisville, no stranger to five-set matches, was 4-1 and one until this heartbreaker here tonight. What a tremendous match by both teams a tip of the cap but only one can move on and the fourth seed has upset the top seed in five sets we will take a quick break we will be back with your stand pardon me with your brunswick eye and contact lens center post game show you're watching dc tv sports discover top quality healthcare education at northwest state our instructors have real world experience so they know how to prepare you for great career opportunities Northwest State, where you'll get the top quality healthcare education you need to succeed. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org. The Strady Center for the Arts, entertainment on a whole new level. The Stritty Center for the Arts presents a full lineup of culture and entertainment right here in our community. 
Check out the full lineup and purchase your tickets today at defiancearts.org. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Visit Mark Motes Ford and check out some of the best new Ford models. Mark Motes Ford has been serving the Defiance community since 1916. Visit them today, County Road 424 in Defiance and online at markmotesford.com. Stamball Jewelers is your trusted source for diamonds, fine jewelry, watches, and gifts. Whether you're looking for a dazzling engagement ring, a timeless anniversary gift, or a present for someone special, Stamball Jewelers has something for every occasion. Visit us today and discover why we've been serving the community since 1948. Proudly serving the area with the highest quality contracting services for nearly 100 years. Baker Schindler Company of Defiance and Paulding, 419-782-5080. Online at baker-schindler.com. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Simplify your everyday banking with convenient account options and digital banking features that fit your unique lifestyle. Premier Bank, everyday banking solutions designed for you. Explore solutions today at yourpremierbank.com. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac is this area's new and used car headquarters, earning your trust one satisfied customer at a time. Estel Chevrolet Cadillac, North Clinton Street in Defiance and online at drivebobestel.com. Discover affordable transfer opportunities at Northwest State. Start here and save thousands on tuition. Our advising team will help you get your credits transferred. So don't wait another minute. Get started today. For the past 70 years, Midwest Community Federal Credit Union has been your financial partner, helping you achieve your dreams and secure your future. Midwest Community Federal Credit Union, with locations in Defiance, Bryan, and Napoleon. Find out more at MidwestCommunity.org.
And we welcome you back to the Thunderdome Archbold High School Gymnasium. Brent Albanot alongside Scoop Miller as the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show is now underway. Keep your eyes healthy for a long life of clear vision. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, your family's vision source. Stadium drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Four-seeded Ayersville taking on top-seeded Pettisville. Ayersville was 10-13 coming into this match, 3-4 in conference play. The heavily favored Pettisville Blackbirds were 20-3. They were unbeaten in conference play. And there's a reason why you play the game. It's not played on paper. 4-1 in five five-set matches leading up to this point this season for Pettisville. On the flip side, also five five-set matches for Ayersville, and they had been winless until tonight. Pilots win 15-8 in set number five, riding the strong serving of Laney Sheets. They got six straight off of her serve and really were in control from the get-go. Scoop, this is an upset, but don't you say that in the Ayersville locker room. Well, no question about it. If you followed the Ayersville Pilots this season, you knew they were more than capable of winning against a excellent team like Pettisville tonight, but they had to get some production throughout the lineup, and boy, did they ever. I'm looking at strong serving. Sheets in particular, really leading the charge. Eldridge had a great run in that second set where Ayersville came storming back to even things up, but in the middle. And again, we'll talk about Grace Flory. We can talk about Allison Eldridge. Laney Sheets uh, was a contributor, but Brooklyn Michael had to have had a double-double tonight. What a performance by the 5'11 junior middle blocker. Yeah, she was phenomenal. She was lights out uh, really from the get-go, and uh, they needed every bit of her effort tonight because – Pettisville was looking strong early on. They took that first set. And even though Ayersville came back to even things up at a set apiece, Blackbirds went right back to work, but Ayersville was not to be denied. They pull out the last two sets. And here we have our honored guests coming Absolutely. Up. We'll let the players go first, Coach, because they need to shower and then scout, right? Laney Sheets, Allison Eldridge, throw those on. We'll make sure. This is about all the room we have to work with, Will, so we're going to trust your professionalism here to go ahead and frame them up. All smiles. My guess is that smile won't leave their face for at least the next 24 hours. Before we dive into it, ladies, congratulations. Well deserved. Yeah. Can you bring them up a little bit, please, there, Josh? Their levels are still a little bit low. There we go. All right, so let's start with this. What was the team's attitude coming in to this one. You knew you were going to face the top-seeded team. They're a juggernaut, but you guys knew that you had one in you. What was the talk about? What was practice like last week into tonight? We mainly worked on our defense, and we adjusted to their hitting. We knew that they had a strong line and a really um, sharp cross, so we adjusted our blocking and moved our defense to where we needed to be. Allison, you had run kind of an unorthodox blocking, more like court coverage yeah, uh, sure. drill that when I saw last week, how much did that help in preparation for tonight? It definitely helped because they like to tool me on the block a little bit more, so it's easier for Brooklyn to just go up and get that big block she had tonight. <laughs> she had more than one. <laughs> And ladies, you guys had your backs to the wall multiple times. You, you dropped the opening set, uh, even things up. You fall behind two sets to one. What was the mindset in the huddle there after losing that third set, falling behind two to one? Well, you've been on the tough end, some tight games this year. What, the, what was the team's mindset? I think it was honestly just to stay consistent and yeah. terminate the ball. That's our main goal in practice, consistency and terminating. And we definitely adjusted to what we needed to. You, number 11, were on fire from the service line tonight. I had you, you for runs. Let's see here. Now, granted, these are unofficial, but I can at least mark a serve or a service ace down. That's all I try and challenge myself with. But I look at a run of five in that second set when you really just didn't let them in it. I'm looking at a run of four in set number three, and then I'm looking at six straight in set number five. What was on, or did you just let muscle memory take over? One was good, so keep the same routine. I really just didn't think about it. I knew that it was going to be serve and serve receive, the name of the game, so I had to serve and get it over. And you did. 
Congratulations. Yeah. Allison, let's talk about you. You had to make some runs tonight. As a matter of fact, there were a few sets where I think you had your back to the entire court. Can you talk about what happens when you're out of system? Because when that happens, I know Coach uh, Tyler has said that's where communication becomes key. You're counting on listening to your teammates telling you where they want the ball. How do you run and how did you run so effectively out of system tonight? I feel like we practice that a lot in practice. That's one of our main things in practice. We practice on it daily. And I just trust my hitters, honestly. And girls, uh, the concentration tonight I thought was just lights out. The communication was there so many times. Uh, Pettisville with their big hitters, they got momentum going their way, but you guys just stayed consistent. How important was it to get so many different people to contribute for you guys tonight? <laughs> I'd say it's a pretty big thing. We do work on that in games. Taven does keep our stats on who I set to, and that's a big thing to have everybody to set to so they don't know who we're setting. I'm going to ask this. 0 for 5 in five set matches <laughs> coming into tonight. Now I know that there's kind of that, I, I don't even want to call it a cloud. Did you guys even think about that? What was, the, what was the talk in the huddle when you knew you had earned a fifth set and it was just first one to 15? We really just said fight for every point, give it your all. You know what you can do and do your job. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Laney said it so well that there wasn't anything else to say. All right, one last one here as we can let you go because I know you're going to stick around here and obviously scout game number two. But here's the question for you. Why not Ayersville in the next round? How deep a run can this team make? Ooh, that's a hard one. We can make it pretty far as long as we stay consistent, serve and serve receive. Yeah, I feel like we have the ability to be more teams along. Laney laid it out and then <laughs> Allison agreed and they've done the reverse here as well. Congratulations to both of you. Go enjoy it with the rest of your teammates and we'll be back here again on Wednesday night. Thank Tremendous you. job ladies. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to take a quick time out, a one minute break as Coach Tyler is going to throw on the headset and join us right after this. We're back with more of the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show on DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Personalized service and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center. Stadium Drive in Defiance and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Well, back at Archbold High School Gymnasium, they call it the Thunderdome. If you saw the movie, you know why. It's because there were Battle Royales fought there left and right, and it is appropriate tonight here. As in sectional semifinal action, they pull off the upset, but don't tell them that in their locker room. Four-seeded Ayersville knocks off first-seeded Pettisville in five. Coach Tyler throwing on the headsets now with us. Coach, before we go any farther, you're smiling probably as much, if not more, than your team. Oh, yeah. What was that? What is that locker room like right now, and what did you tell them? After, you know, high-fiving after the game, going in, it was phenomenal, the energy that everyone had, and we all just knew, like, we finally made it. The time that, you know, trust the process finally paid off, and it was so cool to see in the locker room. Well, Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations. It's a huge win, and, and Brett kind of mentioned the upset, but talking to you a little bit before the game, uh, the confidence that you were speaking with, and uh, we've seen what your team's capable of doing. Wow, they got it done tonight, and what a team effort it was. It wasn't just one, two people that stepped up. Oh, I yeah. thought time and time again, uh, whoever you had out in the court just seemed to step up in crunch time. Boy, you guys made some incredible plays. Oh, yeah. I definitely think they play together as a team so well. 
they we've continued to talk about that teamwork and tonight that communication that teamwork definitely showed and that's what helped us get the win tonight there was some uncharacteristic miscommunication last week in your opening round against north central you cleared that up was that just a matter of nerves or was that a focal point tonight i think that was mainly you know first tournament game a little bit of nerves doing stuff that we haven't always done all that we haven't done all season so kind of getting out that those nerves and coming in knowing hey we need to communicate we need to fight for every point fighting for every point starts with a good first touch you were facing not only one of the best serving teams in this area but in the entire state and you had told me pre-meet that serve receive was going to be crucial your thoughts on your team's performance in that area tonight? The serves from um, the other team was definitely hard. They kept us on our toes, kept us moving the entire night. I think we did a very good job reading it, staying be behind the ball, and being able to make a decent pass off of it. Coach, that's as consistent as I've seen your girls all season long. I mean, they just did a tremendous job of really minimizing unforced errors from the get-go. But it was a team effort. Uh, how were you able to, and I have to ask you this, how after being 0 for whatever in five <laughs> for sets, five. Yep. what was going through your mind when you get to that fifth set? Is it, okay, here's a chance to right the ship, or are you just too locked in to, to do what's next? I mean, what, what, was, what were you thinking? When I knew it was going to a fifth set, not going to lie, nerves kind of kicked in, kind of went back to, oh, no, look at everything else, but I knew – based on their faces and the energy they brought into that huddle coming in and then we ended up getting serve and the energy just kept going stronger and stronger i knew that the energy was on our side and i think that energy and the atmosphere for us with the fans definitely helped propel us into our victory at this point in time of the season we've talked about it you're playing for the right to wear the jersey one more time you've earned the right to wear the jersey one more time. You're back here on Wednesday night. Obviously, you're going to stick around and, and scout uh, Hilltop and Edgerton. But what's your message going to be to your team as you get ready for a quick turnaround in the next 48 hours? Mainly, you know, go out there, have fun. Like we said today, this could, coming into the fourth set, when we were down a little bit, mainly I said to them, you know, this can be your last time ever putting on these jerseys for the season. Go out, have fun, continue to be aggressive, and I think that message will just continue into tomorrow as well. All right, Coach, go enjoy it. We appreciate you coming up and joining us. We'll be right back out here again on Wednesday night. Congratulations. Thank you. Coach Tyler joining us. We're going to take another quick time out. Back with more of the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. You're watching DCTV Sports. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center personalized service, and quality products in a friendly and caring atmosphere. Schedule your appointment today. Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center, Stadium Drive in Defiance, and online at visionsource-brunswickeye.com. Back at Archibald High School Gymnasium, Brent Balbanon alongside Scoop Miller as the Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center post game. We're about to put a big blue and gold bow on it as four seeded Ayersville comes up with the upset over top seeded Pettisville in five sets 
and it really wasn't even close in that fifth set. Laney Sheets rolled off six straight off of her serve, and the Pilots knock off the Blackbirds 15 to eight in five sets. They will advance to the opening round of district, districts right back here in this same gymnasium at six o'clock on Wednesday. They'll take on the winner of the second and third seeded matchup, which is scheduled to get underway here in about 15 minutes, as it will be Hilltop versus Edgerton. Scoop, uh, again, when you see what happened here tonight, it's got to go, not just obviously for Ayersville, but any of the lower seeded teams. You play your best ball when it matters and all bets are off. And that is exactly what happened here tonight. Well, you're exactly right. And that's how tournament uh, athletics work. And uh, credit Ayersville, you know, they were never out of this thing. They got down early. They kept fighting back. Even though on paper, certainly uh, Pettisville at 20 and three, the number one seed was the favorite, but uh, it doesn't matter. Ayersville played like a champion tonight and they will move on to Wednesday's district championship right here at the Thunderdome. We've got one last piece of unfinished business to take care of. It's time for our player of the game award brought to you by BSN Sports. Tonight's player of the game will receive a DC Sports player of the game t-shirt courtesy of BSN Sports. BSN Sports, the office apparel provider of DC TV. Uh, it's a team win, and everybody will tell you that. And if it was minus just one player that set foot on the court tonight, it would have been a Pettisville win instead of an Ayersville win. But I'm convinced, we don't have the official stats in front of us, but I would be shocked if junior middle blocker Brooklyn Michael didn't have a double-double tonight. Kills, blocks, and potentially even digs, she has to to be the player of the game tonight. She was phenomenal, no question about it. And you're right, so many players contribute for Ayersville, and if they get one less contribution, they're not moving on. But what can you say about the performance of the junior, Brooklyn Michael tonight? Uh, she just carried her team time and time again. They got in her strike zone. She put it away there. She was bringing the heat. But I thought her attack blocking was just the answer that nobody's had for Pettisville this entire season is she really was able to stymie a potent Blackbird attack and keep them at check this entire match. And Ayersville uh, earned it, but again, congratulations Brooklyn Michael. She was just outstanding here tonight, one of the best performances I've seen not just this season, but in many seasons. That's going to do it for our broadcast here this evening for our entire crew. A big thank you going out to our underwriters for helping make our broadcasts a possibility. And as always, you the fan for tuning in. For Scoop Miller, I'm Brent Balbinot. Final scores tonight. Ayersville wins in 5, 1925, 25-15, 21-25, 25-22, and 15-8. The Pilots advance to Wednesday night's first round of districts. We will have it for you at 5.30 with a first serve at 6. As always, you've been watching a presentation of DCTV Sports.